And um, do you have anything, was there anything that we brought up during the call today that I didn't quite ask? Uh, some you want to put a bow on, something that I didn't quite address as deeply or as fully as you would you'd have liked? No, probably the only point I would want to say is there is an overarching philosophy to the way we should look after our pain patients now that we've all gone through COVID. And, and I like to use the term what's called trauma-informed pain care, mm -hmm. meaning that we need to understand that when we've all gone through different forms of trauma, that may be the trauma that people experience adversity in childhood to mm -hmm. actually the various traumas that we've all been subjected to as part of COVID isolation, to poverty in different forms, to pressure, to stress, to job, everything. And all of that has an impact on our nervous and our immune systems all the time. And that means that we are always a little bit more vulnerable to feeling threatened. And that threat can be interpreted by our body as a way of protecting and bringing out pain sometimes in different areas where even imaging may not show anything. So that being that trauma informed and bringing pain care in that lens, I think has been a very useful way to make sure that every person gets a more holistic way of looking after themselves and for me to suggest ways to look after themselves. Yeah, thank you. This has been fantastic. I, I, I just love your approach. I think it's uh, very valuable. I, I believe when there are doctors like yourself that verbalize this integrated approach, I think it's going to raise the bar across the board and help more people. So I think it's super valuable, super valuable.